Listen, listen, ladies and gentlemen, we got breaking news in Colorado football land. Deion Sanders and the Buffaloes suffer another recruiting blow. We're going to break it all down, ladies and gentlemen. They lost out on a tackle. I'm going to break everything down. Um, this is crazy. Um, they lost a three-star tackle by the name of Talon Chandler. He was flipped. He flipped his commitment, pardon me, to Missouri. And all this just happened today. Um, people thought that he was locked in with the buffs. I wonder if all of this losing, all of this controversy, and like I said, there's been a lot of things that has been came out. We have teammates accusing other teammates and staff of playing selfishly. We got a lot of things coming out um, all through the weeks. It seemed like this has been a one big soap opera, um, but things are looking like it's coming to a crashing end after being, after starting so glorious. You know, we got to break it all down, ladies and gentlemen. It's Flight Sports. Make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe for more news updates and more. When he was first, when he first was announced as Colorado head coach, hundreds of recruits and transfers reached out with interest in joining the program, and he immediately put together a top 25 recruiting class. Now that the excitement of being in the first year as head coach is gone, there appears to be an issue plaguing Sanders in Colorado, which was that very same thing that was expected to be his strength, which is recruiting. You know, before the latest decommitment, Colorado held just 10 commits in total for their 2024 class, with two of them on the offensive line, a position of need for the Buffs. You see what's going on with Shador, ladies and gentlemen, who currently lead the nation in sacks allowed with 54 and also ranked last in the country in yards per rush with 2.32. On Sunday, Sanders and Colorado lost their lone high school commit. I repeat, the offensive line as three-year tackle Talon Chandler flipped his commitment to Missouri. We got to break it all down, ladies and gentlemen. Their class now ranks as the number 70th class in the country. This is according to all outlets. We got to break it all down. It's Flight Sports TV. I got my man Phonix in the building. What's your thoughts on the situation with them losing this recruit on the offensive line? Um, what's your thoughts on the Buffaloes? Let's, 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 let's break it down, Phonix. It's Flight Sports. All right, well, first of all, um, you know what I'm saying? Um, it happens all the time. It happens to major programs all the time. They lose a recruit. So I'm not looking too far into that. But, however, I think things won't get better with the Buffaloes until Dion's kids are gone. And what I mean by that is people are going to see it as favoritism. For example, they never, they never highlighted the run game. It was all about the pass game for Shador Sanders. You know what I'm saying? And I think that was the problem. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, I know it was a problem. You know what I'm saying? Then, you know, mostly targeting Travis Hunter and stuff like that. Like, once those players are gone and now it's just regular players, I think, you know, people are going to come. But you are absolutely right about the circus. Nobody wants to be involved with the circus when you're not winning. See, if they was had all of this chaos going, but they were still winning in spite of, you would get recruits. But again, we're talking about the Buffaloes. Yo, they're, they're in the Pac-12 right now, and they're moving to the Big Ten. I mean, this recruit, he went, he's going to Mizzou. That's the SEC, which is the toughest conference. You know what I'm saying? And if you're trying to go to the NFL, why wouldn't you go to the SEC? You know what I'm saying? Or the ACC. But yeah, I mean, Deion, yo, He's gonna have to get a he's gonna have to get a refocus of the team. They would have they've been the most penalized team in, in college football, leading the nation, very undisciplined. You know what I'm saying? We saw the antics with the you know the watches and the sunglasses. Like he's gonna have to get rid of all of that and get back to the basics, man. But yeah, Colorado is definitely in, retru in, in recruiting trouble because people seem like this year, like, oh man, well, he didn't go in there and do what he said he was gonna do. That's how some people are gonna see it. And some recruits. And they're not going to want to be a part of that. That's just the bottom line.
Yo, listen, man, I, I, I totally agree with you. I, I'm, I'm very upset that this happened because, like I said, I know that um, Shador, he will be there next year. You know, like you said, when all his kids are gone, already um, is being committed already that Shador will be back next year. Shiloh will be back next year. Travis will be back next year. So you do you feel like maybe this guy, Talent, who would have been the guy protecting Shador for at least a season, do you feel like um, – that would that, he why, why wouldn't he want to be involved in that you know you see Shador with the watch you know leading the new trend um what, what what do you think happened with this recruit specifically i'm glad you asked that question i've i've listened over the last couple of weeks of interviews with dion and he constantly keeps highlighting the offensive line the offensive line the offensive line they're not doing this or he says it very subtle but he throws shade at them and blah, 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 this, and we got to look at the film, but the offensive line, and we see the sacks and stuff that Shadu is taking. This young man might not want that kind of pressure. This I, could be I'm going to cut you off. I'm going to cut you off, but I did remember when Dion said we got to get a new offensive line. I mean, I, right. right ahead. No, right, exactly, exactly. So this young man might not want that pressure. He might not want that, like, yo, man, I do something wrong and then either I'm on the bench or, or I'm on the outs. Maybe he don't want those issues. Maybe his family just said there's too much going on over there, son. Nah, you don't need that. You know what I'm saying? You just want to play football. You know? It's a lot that comes with, you know, not just playing for the Buffaloes, but you're playing for Prime, Coach Prime, and, and Shador and all of this. It's a lot. They, they're really out there. Yo, I think – Six of the seven commercials I've seen yesterday during college football was the um, uh, it was the Sanders family, whether it was them collectively or Shiloh. And, and, so it's a lot going on. And maybe this recruit doesn't want that. And I understand. I respect it. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. You know, I, I mean, I got to keep it real with you. Um, hopefully the Buffaloes get it together. This season is clearly a wash. Um, they changed offensive coordinators. They tried to do everything they could to get the wheels back on the tracks, but clearly the situation got derailed. Um, I, I really don't know what to say. They are not bowl eligible. Um, the season finale, you know, um, it's kind of crazy that we hear because they got beat down by Washington, fourteen to fifty-six. The finale, the season to be ending this Saturday you know, uh, 3 p.m. Eastern against Utah. Um, we st they still got another game to play. Um, do you, how, how do you see Colorado going out? Do they go out with a win? Um, for You know, because they do have some guys leaving. Um, are they going to fight? Or are they going to just let it go and lose horribly once again? What's your thoughts? Is, is Dion going to start Shador? Is um, Shiloh going to play? Or are they going to make business decisions like – now nah, we'll just put the backup in because we don't have nothing to prove. You know what I'm saying? Either way, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be mad at him. I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't playing for nothing. So why have this starting quarterback in? So however it ends up, it ends up. Um, um, I look at them taking another loss. Yeah, I look at them taking another loss. Um, they really got embarrassed Friday night. Um, they really got embarrassed. Uh, yeah, I'm looking to take another loss. But it, it, it doesn't matter at this point. They're not bowl eligible. I mean, you know, what's one more win or one more loss? It doesn't even matter at this point. You know, they have a lot of work to do in the offseason. A lot know. of work. We're going to break it all down. Make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe. It's flight speed.